Underglow is back. And I know you guys probably hate it. The taste police are probably gonna arrest me, but guess what? Underglow is back. And so I found the cheapest Underglow that you can buy on Amazon. And we're gonna throw it on Girth Brooks today and check it out because tonight it's supposed to be dark and uh, I wanna see if it actually works. That is it. For 60 bucks or so, yeah, it's just a little LED kit and uh, we're gonna be throwing it on Girth. That is it, wow. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So the instructions are as clear as mud, so this should be pretty straightforward. I mean, there's six different lights going on the front, the sides, and the rear of girth, and then essentially it just plugs into the battery, and yeah, it should be pretty simple. So. I'm not gonna bore you with the actual installation, but uh, there are a couple of things that you want to make sure of. And the first thing is that you wanna test the lights before you actually put them on the vehicle because if they don't work, well, they're not gonna work on the car and that's just gonna be a lot of wasted time. So definitely test them out and that's what we're gonna do right now, make sure that they light up and then we're gonna throw them on girth. And I bet it's going to look so good <laughs> or not. What do you think? Underglow, is it good or bad? Let us know in the comments below. All right, so I just threw the cigarette lighter switch in the cigarette lighter and I wired these together really badly. And now let's put in the key so we get a little power. And well, nothing's happening yet. Let's hit the switch. Oh, let there be light. That is going under girth. That's gonna look so sick. Oh, all right, they all work. So next step is uh, getting these babies installed. I've always wanted underglow, but I never really thought I'd have a vehicle that was cool enough to have underglow. And now that Girth Brooks is taking over the internet, well, not really, but if you wanna see all the mods that have been done to Girth, go check out this video up here because there's about $75,000 worth of mods. And where I'm really curious is that since this is air suspension, what's the underglow gonna look like when it's aired out? Huh get it installed. All right, so this is the Bluetooth controller here. And so this is gonna wanna stay in here so that then I can talk to it with my phone. Um, I think they call this thing the frunk. I don't know if that's the best name for it, but essentially I'm gonna want it to sit here. Then I can control the lights. It's like 120 different colors with my app on my phone and uh, I can make this thing dance. So I'm gonna start here and use these two smaller strips under the uh, whatever you call this thing up here, this uh, foot stand, and then uh, we'll work our way back. No, this is not gonna be a DIY tutorial, but one thing you do wanna do is get some isopropyl alcohol and some rags or something to clean the area before you stick it. Now, before I install the first two, this guy right here and this guy right here, I just wanna show you kinda of what the layout of the land is. So you have two up in the front that we're gonna put right here, right here, and then we're gonna snake this wire up and down to then put this LED, which is a lot longer, under the side skirt, and then we're gonna up and down, and we're gonna throw it back here somewhere, even though I don't really know where the heck we're gonna throw it. But uh, yeah, that's essentially what this uh, underglow is gonna look like. So far, so good. We actually got, if I could get under there, the first one stuck on right there. But now we have these ugly wires hanging. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this. It's double-sided tape from Gorilla. So I just took the tape, threw it on like that, and then I'm gonna pull it as hard as I can and then just wedge it in there and uh, yeah, it's gone forever. And there's no more. Oh, that looks really good actually. So again, clean the spot with isopropyl alcohol. And then, ooh, yeah. Woo! But yeah, you wanna clean it as much as you can because you only get one shot at sticking this stuff. And then kinda eye it where you wanna put it. Kinda in the center for me. And then, uh, yeah. Throw it on there. And if you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button so we know that, well, you enjoy underglow. Also, this is the best underglow you can get for like 60 bucks on Amazon. I'll link to it down in the description. 
I highly recommend it. Just make sure that it's legal in your state. I don't know if it's legal here or not, but uh, we're just gonna full send. I think underglow is just one of those things that like, when Fast and Furious first came out and there was the neon green underglow on those Civics, I think everybody at that point wanted a car with underglow. Never thought it would be on a wide body Audi R8 for me, but I mean, it could go on worse things like a Jeep. Okay, so I got the other side installed and now it's the moment of truth. This guy is routed around. I'll make that a lot cleaner later. Let's plug it in. Uh, oh, I gotta turn it on. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, no way. It's on you guys. It just has to get darker out. I gotta clean up all this wiring and then, uh, I think we should go hit the town. Maybe I'll take YouTube girl out for a date night tonight and we'll park this thing with the lights on and see if uh, anybody likes it, dislikes it, or subscribes. Which if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell because I would really appreciate it. And uh, then maybe we can underglow the 911. 346 minutes later. So after spending about three hours on the ground, I would say that getting a lift would be the easiest way to do this. And then the second easiest is just to get a jack and jack up the vehicle because I didn't have as much room as I thought even being aired up as, as much as possible on girth. Um, but yeah, if you look under there now, there are no wires. I actually hid everything quite well. So we're gonna take girth for a quick little drive. It's not dark enough yet to uh, turn on the lights and really make them glow, but for right now, I uh, am hoping that the wires don't fall out of all the nooks and crannies that I threw them into. So uh, let's take them for a drive. <laughs> How good does this look? Oh my God, air down. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> no way. That is so sick. I just found YouTube girlfriend <laughs> with that absolutely epic sweater, which uh, you can go snag. Oh my, what are you looking at? What you can you snag it up here. On here. What do you mean? It kind of matches girth. Yeah, there's 120 different settings, so this is just one of 120, and so... I didn't you, know that they could do that. Isn't that so cool? That's cool! Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Come around to the back. It kind of looks like jelly beans. Like little jelly beans. Yeah. Wait, what's around the back? Well, you oh. just got, you got some lights in the back, too. And then on the other oh, side. Oh, Yeah. Those ones are kind of cool because you can see the strip. Yeah, but I thought this one was a good starter one because it kind of matches Girth's current wrap, but we it have does. all the colors in the world. All of them in the rainbow bay. Ooh, can we see the Tino colors? Pick I me. mean, the peanut colors. Yeah, we can, one second. Okay, so can I run you through some of the, the gizmos? Yeah, what So is this is the app thing? that connects to that Bluetooth thing that we hid. And so what you can do is you can first change the colors, so DIY colors, so you can click on any of them that you want, and Whoa. it changes in real time. Okay. That's pretty. Yeah, try a different one. There Ooh. we go. It does it really quick too. That and does. then it, there's, these are the 120 settings. So if you hit to the right and then you can just start playing through and toggling through and you can see oh. all the different ones. Yeah, isn't that sweet? That looks like lemonade. This is so sick. This is probably the sickest mod I've ever done to any vehicle. Well, except lifting that and putting a rooftop tent on that, ski box on this. And I mean, let's check out that modification right there. Oh, no, but this is super cool. Look at that. So, and then you can also just kind of thumb through if you hit that, like where that little, uh, yeah, there you go. Whoa. You, ha you have to put it on, see that ball? You gotta, there you go. But yeah, you can adjust it. So there's a ton of different settings here. And uh, I think it's time that 
we go grab some food. What do you think? I can play with this all day. Pick your favorite setting. <laughs> all right, let's roll. Well, we just had dinner and now it's getting dark enough that the lights are starting to really show off. As you can see, the underglow <laughs> looks so freaking good. And I think it is now time to get some shots, some roller shots with the underglow. What do you think? It looked pretty good. It does look really, look at that. Oh. It's like Mario Kart Rainbow World. Is this not the best $60 I've ever spent? Ooh. Be honest. How, well, dinner was the same price, so dinner or underglow? I was gonna say, I don't know, some food's pretty good for 60 bucks. I could go without eating once to get this on every single one of the cars that we own. This is such a sick modification. It went out of style for like 20 years, but it is back, baby. Underglow is back, and it is coming back with a vengeance. Look at this, 120 different settings. I mean, this is 2021. This is the technology revolution. This is Ideal Cars, baby. That was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Installing this underglow was something that I've always wanted to do, and here it is on a wide body Audi R8. So yeah, if you wanna go check out the kit for 60 bucks, click the link in the description. And uh, yeah, please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I'm Brad Danger, this is Ideal Cars. Promise me one thing. Say it with me, guys. Keep living the ideal lifestyle.